Hey guys, what's up? By a second trend here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next war recap video, and this is the one against North Watchers. Um, it was a very close war, came down to one star. Uh, the end of it, from what I hear, was very uh, exciting. I wasn't actually on for the end of it, I was busy with something else, but um, it was a great war nonetheless. And uh, taking a look at what they did, they, I mean, got one of our Town Hall 10s three starred, that would be Thor. And then they got the other two, uh, two starred, and then starting with one hive Sam and below, all the town hall nines and town hall eights uh, were three starred. So good job to them. Uh, we kind of were in the same boat, except we just couldn't quite get that two star on the number one. Um, obviously, all the nines and eights got three starred. Uh, but the thing was, at the end of the war, you know, when the town hall tens are attacking, uh, we just were kind of short on attacks. Um, the town hall nines. Um, had a little bit of trouble on cleanup, I guess. So we didn't have, um, pretty much we didn't have any scouts really, um, any real scouts on these town hall ten bases. So it kind of came down to our tens, and they did a good job. I mean, this base was almost three star. That would have uh, won us the war, and then this could have won us uh, the war too if it had been a two star. Um, based on the percentage, it depends a little bit, but would have had a good shot at the win there too. So, um, yeah, it was close. Awesome job to our tens and. Uh, um, yeah, a little bit of trouble uh, three-starring their nines, so good job on their bases. But anyway, let's take a look at a few of the attacks um, because there were some great ones from this war, as there always is in these arranged wars. Um, we're going to start with number two, the Town Hall 10 three-star that we got. Um, it's uh, Mimo taken on Hooked, and he's doing a kind of a standard three-star strategy at Town Hall 10, obviously, the uh, Queen Walk La Lune. Coming in here with the Queen, a few healers on her. Um, just gonna let her just walk straight into the base with the wall breakers. Um, she has access to the air defenses. Gonna get in there, try to take out the inferno tower. Um, has the zaps for the inferno tower, I believe. So yeah, right there. Drops those down. That's gonna uh, get the inferno down at least. Uh, right there has enough juice to get it down, and then uh, the air defense goes down as well. Didn't really need the air defense to go down as well, probably because the queen probably would have gotten it anyway. Um, but this helps out a little bit too. Has those wall breakers. Um, just to open that up right there, let the queen keep working. Uh, she's going to be stuck in these storages for a little while, uh, but eventually she'll step up, get towards that air defense, start taking it out, and get in there take out the queen as well. Also uh, drops down the king right there. That's why he put the wall breakers down to let the king meet up with the queen here. It's kind of cool how he waited a little bit, because he doesn't want the king to get uh, stuck on all these buildings. Once the king to basically just go straight in there for the queen, not get distracted on anything. So lets his, his archer queen take out most of that anyway, just a, a few uh, breadcrumbs for the king to follow on in. He comes in there, uh, just w pops the ability, a few swipes, the queen's down. Uh, down. Uh, now the lava, or the lava Hound comes out of the CC, but drops the poison. Um, and there's no Inferno Tower in the area, so the Queen is going to remain up under that Raged uh, Healers. Uh, right here, that Hound's going to bust in just a moment, and she'll take out the Pups and keep moving. Quite a bit of point defense on her, but the Raged Healers are enough to keep her up. And uh, drops a nice minion there to help take out the uh, few Lava Pups back by the Healers. Uh, he'll pop the ability in just a moment, I believe, because he's out of rage spells. Uh, but the queen's taken out a lot of this base. Unfortunately, that, that skelly trap pops, so the queen doesn't get the full uh, value of her ability. But she's still got quite a bit taken out and set it up real nicely for the air attack on the back end of this base. Drops down the freeze. Um, that's going to get the, I think, the air defense right there frozen along with the inferno tower. Good placement there. Doesn't have any spells to move his balloons, so. They're going to go pretty slowly, but eventually they're going to get there uh, to this last air defense. Still has, I think, like all three of his Lava Hounds, or two of them up at least. And then right here they start popping. Um, yeah, actually had three of them up for a moment. But yeah, the balloons are a little bit clumped up right now, but still has three of them in the bag, which he deploys right now. Because uh, that one Wizard Tower is doing quite a bit of splash damage to the balloons. Doesn't matter though, the Queen is still up to help with cleanup. Uh, those balloons will help with cleanup as soon as they're done uh, with these last few defenses. Plus all those pups are spread out. This one's a three star, awesome attack. Um, I think this is the one that came at the last few seconds of the war, so everyone was going crazy. And same with the next attack, which also came at the end, uh, which could have gotten us like a last second win, but uh, it was very close, and we'll take a look at that as soon as this ends. So nice attack to Mimo getting the three star on a pretty high level base. All right, yeah, so here's the other attack that was at the uh, last few seconds. We have Pendragon coming in against this Town Hall 10. Uh, doesn't have the high level Inferno Towers, but a solid anti-3-star layout. 
plus some pretty high level heroes in there. I think that's thirty six thirty. So not easy to, not easy to three star at all. Difficult base right here. Um, coming in with the queen walk as always uh, drops down the poison to take out that wizard mainly. Uh, we'll watch the queen. We'll fast forward as the queen beats through. Drops a few minions uh, just to help take out that lava hound, and then a wizard to help funnel the uh, queen in. Even though the wizard doesn't take it out, no big deal. Uh, the queen's still going to go up north as he planned. So uh, goes ahead and drops an archer just to help out. Right here, the queen's going to take out the uh, elixir pump, then the wizard tower, then start heading up north um, to get in here. I think he wall breakers the queen in at some point. Uh, yeah, I think right here the wall breakers come in. Let the queen on in, because um, if he doesn't, the air defense will take out the healers just based on the angle that she'll walk. So it has to come in here. Uh, let's the queen get in there, take out that first air defense. The nice thing is the point defense isn't maxed out, so that helps on the queen walks especially, because uh, the cannons, the expos, don't do as much damage to the queen. Uh, still, though, has some point defense on her, so drops down the rage. That'll just keep her up. Um, the golem wizard's backing it up, coming in with like the second leg of the attack here. Um, sorry about that notification. Anyway, though, the queen comes in, and it works out nicely because the queen will take out these uh, few buildings, and then um, she will not be in range of the Inferno Tower. She goes back for that army camp, then goes to the wall. So she basically is free to sit there, take out the wall. And then one of the, like the second or third thing she locks onto will be the Inferno Tower. So it will go down. Uh, but the king comes in with the jump, with the golem out in front tanking for him. He gets in there, takes out the enemy king, then gets in there, gets the queen. Um, and I think the air defense goes down too, so good value there. But like I said, as soon as the queen's th through the wall, pops the ability. She has enough juice to get that Inferno Tower down. Um, actually didn't get that air defense, I did miss that. Um, drops down the rage though, just to keep the queen up. He needs her for cleanup, if nothing else. Plus he wants her to get these uh, defenses over here, because uh, there is an expo, archer tower, a um, few other things which are of good value. Comes in with the lava hound and a few balloons. I'm not sure, I think that air defense was planned on going down, so that did kind of throw him off a little bit. But he did a nice adjustment, just sends in the lava hound and the balloons. Although it does cause his Lava Hound to bust earlier than he wanted. So he is out of Lava Hounds. Uh, has the Freeze, which he drops on the Inferno, uh, which was the right decision. But um, just because his Lava Hounds uh, had to do more than he thought, doesn't have anything for that last air defense. It'll take out these last few buildings. I think they do get that Inferno if I'm... No, not quite. Don't get the Inferno. Uh, but they were close. The Queen's coming in. Uh, she's actually going to take out a few more of these buildings. And I think she actually gets the Inferno. So had a, had a shot at the 3-star. Obviously runs out of time. But um, so many th little things that could have, uh, I guess, gotten the 3-star. Very close attack. Uh, you'll see that Inferno goes down. Still is like 25 seconds. So we'll fast forward because it got pretty high percentage. Um, should turn off my notifications before I recorded. But oh well. Hopefully don't have too many of those throughout the video. Um, but yeah, awesome attack to Pendragon. Almost got it for us. Uh, but it's hard. There was no scout on that base uh, besides my two-star attack on it. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at some Town Hall 9 action. Starting with um, number yeah, 13. Uh, here we are. Double 07. Doing a uh, dragon attack. And he gets something kind of cool with the dragons, which we'll see in a minute. Uh, but anyway, drops down the queen. Um, just kind of the standard placement. Put her, like, you know, on that on the corner, off to the side, whichever way you want her to go. Then she'll step up and just slowly funnel along down uh, the wall. So you guys know the placement I'm talking about. Just on the corner, but off to the side you want her to go. And uh, she should funnel the way you want her to go, uh, right like uh, she does there. So Queen Walk is set up nicely, comes in with the wall breakers, has access to three air defenses right here. Uh, you can see has two jumps actually. So gonna let the heroes kind of work their way throughout the base along with the dragons right there. Um, doesn't need to even funnel the queen in on the bottom. She just kind of goes in naturally. Um, that one air defense is taking out the healers. So good idea, pops the ability, takes out the air defense before it can do too much damage to the healers. And then she's uh, fine. The healers are still on her and she can start taking out that lava hound. Um, so there's one cannon on her, but that's no big deal. Drops down the wizard, which I like. I'm always a big fan of doing that. I usually do that on my attacks. Drop down that wizard to help the queen take out the lava hound, especially with the update that's going to make the uh, attack time back to three minutes. It'll take, take away that extra 30 seconds we got a few months back. Especially with that, you're going to want to speed up your attacks. So just little things like that can always help. 
Um, but anyway, comes in on the other side with a golem, a few wizards, and then a few wall breakers in just a moment to let the king on in. Uh, the goal is just to get in there, get that air defense, and let things keep moving with the jump spell. So right here, the queen is also starting to make her way up towards that uh, middle compartment. Drops down the poison, so it doesn't have to use a rage or anything on the queen. She'll be fine, because the king can't do enough damage under that poison to get her too low. Anyway, though, the king's coming in. Still hasn't deployed the dragons, and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment uh, when he does, because kind of an interesting deployment on them. Right there, drops them at the bottom, and just kind of lets everything funnel up. Has the jump to let the heroes keep going. So basically one push with his heroes, the golem, and the dragons just all collectively. Has two rages and the jump still left. So uh, the heroes going out in front. The king actually tanks very nicely for these uh, Teslas. Does hit a few black bombs because he deployed them at the bottom. But I think it was worth it because everything's going in one squad. Has the rages, just destroys this base. Completely overpowers it. The healers are even under rage too, so they're doing extra healing. Um, the dragon's just destroying all these defenses and very quickly gets through the second half of the base. Uh, awesome attack to double 07, getting the three star. We'll go ahead and fast forward. Uh, Castillo has like five of his six or seven dragons left up. Awesome attack. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. All right, so one more Town Hall 9. We have um, number 21, I think it's, yeah, Warlord taking on 21 and bringing quite a few Valks and kind of the cool thing about this is the Valks weren't even max level uh, but they're still powerful enough to get in here get the three star a um, little bit of a lower level base but you know he has lower level heroes than you know than the max for Town Hall 9 so kind of you know his level base I guess is what I'm trying to say comes in with a few hogs to get the C sealer they also get that archer tower which is a nice bonus um, and the queen starting her walk up there so sometimes when you like, you know, have to create a funnel for your queen walk, you can do another job. So you can use the hogs to take out a defense to help funnel your queen, but they also get the CC sealer. So when you have one job you have to do, you can kind of merge that into another one just to get double value when you know you have to invest troop space in some, uh, some mission or whatever. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Comes in at the bottom here with a golem. A uh, good test wall breaker because there were a lot of little bombs there to try to mess up wall breakers. So very nice and patient. I've actually seen a few attacks um, by one hive and by other clans where they send in the test wall breaker, but then they send in the next few wall breakers before it actually tests the area. So the the bomb still affects like the, the wall breakers as they follow the first one, and it kills like all the wall breakers. So be patient. You have the test wall breaker for a reason. Um, you know, drop it. Uh, drop it then wait like four three four seconds just to make sure that there's nothing in there and if there is it'll get triggered but anyway um the valks come in has a jump for them basically they just clear out that entire compartment with the heroes and stuff or with the queen at least then has the jump to let them get into the tesla farm they're going to take that out pretty quickly along with the enemy king has a heal for them a uh, good placement there could have been a little bit lower but no big deal um anyway sends in the hogs right here I thought it might be better to send them in on the right side because uh, the queen would have gotten in there and taken out that expo and air defense anyway. But goes ahead and starts putting them in right now. They are going to hit that double giant bomb set a little bit. Uh, but it's no big deal. The Valks, are, they're going to use the heal, the jump, to get in there and get the last few defenses. Because right there the double set goes off. Uh, but a few hogs do survive it to come down and help out. This base is pretty much done though because the queen is still up. Still has those Valks up, some wizards. Everything kind of converging on the last few uh, buildings. We'll go ahead and fast forward as the hogs get in there. Drops the wizard on the cannon while it's distracted. So awesome attack there. Nice three star by Warlord. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's take a look at two Town Hall 8s um, because whenever there are Town Hall 8s in the war, I always try to show them. And I'm going to make a point to only show, if I can, fresh hits just because cleanup attacks doesn't help that much. At Town Hall 8, cleanup attacks is just so easy. Especially when you when you know the bomb locations and stuff, they, I think it's it's more helpful for me to show you know first attacks when the people don't know where anything are. So these two are going to be first attacks. Uh, one of them is actually an air attack with dragons, which you don't see quite as much as you used to, uh, but it still works. We saw it a number of times this war, um, mainly used by us, but also by them. I think a few times. Um, the attacker is Cottonmouth, and he's coming in here using the king to tank. And actually it works out nicely because the Tesla farm pops 
and the king tanked for them for the test the farm a little bit took some dragons off or some <laughs> some damage off the dragons uh, but the dragons come in there get the test the farm down get that air defense the other one was zap quaked which was awesome and then that's what you can do here because if you use Zap Quake, you still have a Rage and a Haste left over. So you can use the Rage on your Dragons and the Haste for a group of Balloons to get in there and get out, get that last air defense taken out, whichever is the easiest just to come in with Balloons for. Because uh, the Balloons can get in there really quickly with the Haste. Plus, I mean, level 6 Balloons are pretty OP at Town Hall 8. And uh, they can get in here and take out quite a bit more defenses because uh, this group of Balloons is still moving around. Unfortunately, they're targeting, most, targeting mostly Cannons and Mortars which doesn't help that much, but there's still plenty of dragons up anyway. So they'll get the three star if nothing else. Um, awesome attack, made it look very easy. Uh, good job, Cotton Mouth. And the last one we're gonna take a look at is number 37. Here we go, um, Joshua taking on Filthy Buzzard and um, not max walls, but definitely max defenses besides the Teslas, I guess. Um, so, you know, a, uh, high level Town Hall 8 as usual um, comes in with a few hogs to get the CC lure he obviously wasn't expecting that Tesla so it doesn't get the full lure but just comes in with one more hog you know not don't have, not rocket science just drop another hog or two hogs I guess because those archers are going to be shooting them get this rest of the CC lure because honestly at Town Hall 8 the only things that are going to hurt your hogs are giant bombs and uh, the CC troops especially if there's wizards or something in there uh, so just make sure that gets taken out, if nothing else. Uh, even if it costs a few extra hogs, it's definitely worth it. But um, anyway, drops down the golem, a few wizards up here. And uh, this is part of the, you know, the attacker's way of trying to screw up the attack by putting Teslas on the outside to try to mess up the lure and various things. So right here, that golem kind of gets distracted. It walks over to the Tesla. And then even though he does wall breaker in successfully, the golem will keep walking because it's already moved too far down south. It's too close to that archer tower, so it keeps walking, uh, but it actually starts tanking. And sometimes at Town Hall 8, you just have to go with it. Just because that area is being tanked for, drop the hogs down there, let them kind of take advantage of the fact that the golem's out in front. And then right here, they come in there, uh, has the heal for the giant bomb area, which there is a giant bomb there. Uh, just starts reinforcing around the base. Like I said, not putting all his eggs on one basket, keeping his hogs spread out so even if they do somehow uh, trigger a double set, they're not all going to be taken out. Uh, they do kind of group up here, but by this point, um, there's really no other giant bomb spots left. And uh, this base is pretty much done, so they uh, do kind of glancing, get a glancing blow on that giant bomb set right there. But the main group avoided it, and that's all that matters. They'll get in there, take out that last air defense, and then take out the king. Awesome three star, a little bit of cleanup left to do just because there's a lot of trash buildings up, but gets the three star, um, nice attack. Hope you guys enjoyed the attacks from this war recap. Um, gonna have some more uh, content coming out later. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, that was the war. Good job to North Watchers. Um, they put up a great uh, compilation of attacks and they got the job done. And uh, hopefully we can bounce back and uh, get ready this week uh, with some good random matchups and get ready for that arranged war, which we hopefully have again next weekend. We'll see about that. Anyway, thanks for watching, though. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.